The results thus far show, first of all, it's feasible to combine the regimen. We, we're up to uh, 2,500 milligrams per meter square per, per dose of CPI. We have a target dose of 3,000, so we're working towards that. Uh, it's been very well tolerated. There's been no real additional toxicity to adding CPI to the standard regimen, so we've been able to get, hopefully, some benefit. The response rates uh, have been right at 50 percent. Uh, of patients, which is excellent for a second line treatment. For many regimens, it's closer to a third of patients will respond. So we're very excited about that. Traditionally, our, our high dose ARC mitoxantron combination was fairly effective as group. Looking back, our data showed about a 45% CRR plus CRI rate. The most exciting thing about adding to CPI is two groups that have traditionally not done very well. The older patients, patients age 60 or older, did not do so well with that regimen. And patients with high-risk carrier types or high-risk cytogenetics were a, uh, a group that did worse. With the adding the CPI, the response rates in those two groups are equivalent to the group as a whole, which is very exciting. So we see those as areas very difficult to treat groups of patients who really will benefit from the addition of the CPI.